world and not the world. So the Bible said, love me with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. When you love God with this trinity, hallelujah, the world will be something that you will not love. If you love your wife, if you love your husband, you see that? Wherever you are, you think. That's what the Bible says. Where your riches is, that is where your heart will be also. Will be also. Amen. So number two, obey God and not your appetite. Tell your neighbor, obey God. Obey God. And not your appetite. And not your appetite. You see, at times we justify the situation with our appetite. What we are learning today, as soon as Abraham had the call, the Bible said he did not discuss it with their wife. Amen. He did not think about where he was staying. At times we love to remain in our comfort zone. And so we try to justify the word of God with our appetite, with our situation. And the God Almighty is saying that obey the Lord your God. Let's remind you chapter 36, verse 39. Someone should be doing there for me. We are becoming a Christian. This year we will become. Matthew 29. Matthew chapter 26, verse 26. I will tell you, I will not drink from the fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it, new with you in my father's kingdom. Amen. 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 I think I'm sorry. Matthew 29, let me check that out. Amen. <laughs> no. Matthew, one minute. <coughs> yeah, that's Matthew chapter 16, verse number 16, not 29. Amen. Matthew 16, 16. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 16. Verse 16. Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. As soon as he received the message, he did not give a second thought. Amen. His response was, You are the Son of the living God. You are the Christ. He did not look at the situation where he was at that particular time. Amen. At times when the word of God comes to us, we take the word of God, we put it our, in our appetite. Say appetite. Appetite. And we begin to justify it. Mm. Amen. Amen. And the Bible is saying that if you want to, we have to become a Christian. So to become a Christian, you have to obey the word of God. Amen. Number three, serve God, not self. We have to do what? Serve God, not to serve ourselves. Amen. You see, at times we consider ourselves first to God. So, in order to become a Christian, an example for others to follow, we need to serve God with our spirit, soul, and body. In every situation, you don't serve yourself, but you serve what God. That's what the Bible says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. Many a time we seek ourselves first. Amen. And God is saying to her, You are supposed to be in that chair. And every time I need you, I will seek for you. Where are you, Adam? Adam was not at his post of duty. When God needs him, he will be him and use him for his glory. So many a time, we look like Christ. Character. And so when he comes into his character to pick us to use, he finds no point. He says, where are you? Amen. 
Amen. Tell your neighbor, become a Christian. Become a Christian. Amen. Amen. Number four, fear God and not man. Today, we fear man than we fear God. Yes. 
fear and his amen. Even though, if God will not save me, ah, we will prefer to die in the fire. Where are those days, believers? Today we have salvation because some people decided to become Christians with their life, with their spirit, with their mind, with their soul. Amen. If they look like Christians, you and I will have been saved. It's true. Amen. Let's read Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. Twelve thirteen. Philippians two, twelve and thirteen. Philippians two, twelve to thirteen says, mm -hmm. what says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation with the fear and tremble. 13. For it is God who works in you to go and act in order to fulfill his God's purpose. Amen. 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 So, it is God who works within us mm. to fulfill his purpose. Mm. So, he's pre advising us mm. that for me to use you as a vessel. You need to work out your own salvation. Mm. Not when people are there, when, not when you are in the church. Not showing yourself in the market that I am a Christian. Not going to evangelism that I am a Christian. Yes, in his absence. Mm. In the absence of men. Mm. Amen. A true believer, a true Christian, Christ life. Is when your spirit, soul and body test, testify yeah. with the spirit of God that you are the son of God. I used to say, we know ourselves better than any other person. It's true. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says to become a Christian, mm. we have to work it out. Say work it out. Work it out. It's not easy. You have to work on it. Because we are flesh and blood. There are things that are, is holding us back. So there, there are certain things we want to do. But those things are holding us. Because our spirit mind is changing us. Yes, it's true. And so I try to go on my knees and say, Lord, oh, have mercy. Mm. How it overcome. Mm. Oh, I'm working out the salvation. You go on your knees, you pray, you take the word of God, you meditate upon it day and night and try to practice it. Oh. Say, work it out, work it out, work it out. Work it out. It's work out. Work it out. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's not easy. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. Amen. Amen. This year, let's work it out. Second Peter chapter one verse five. Second Peter chapter one verse five. Verse five says, "For this is very, for this very reason, make every effort to add unto your faith goodness, and a goodness knowledge." Amen. Amen. For this very reason. For you representing, being the ambassador of Christ Jesus, representing God for this reason, make every effort, which means it is not easy. You have to put in the work. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. He said, make every effort. Mm. Don't allow anything to entangle your way. Mm. When they come, goes on your knees and know the faithful. Is he that promised? Why? Because you are representing him. And he is the one who is working in us. So when he comes and he don't find us, he cannot use us. Mm -hmm. 
The reason why today people started well and now they are using, they go to the fetish to take spiritual power is because at the point of time they ran out of oil. They could not stand again. So when God appeared, they don't see the manifestation of God again. But so they have to, instead of them working out, they walk out. Mm -hmm. Say no walk out. No walk out. Work it out. Work it out. It's workable. It's workable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's workable. Work it out by the grace. Amen. My scripture use the word virtue. And the virtue there means behavior. Showing high moral standard. As children of God, our behavior must be unique. You are different. You are peculiar. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are not like any other person. <laughs> you are different from our own. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Put your hand on I'm different. I'm different. Among many. Among many. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm fearfully and wonderfully I am the head and not the tail. I am the head. I am the first and not the last. Hallelujah. I am a winner. I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. 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 When you speak this word to yourself. Yes. When the enemy sees you, mm. he came to Jesus the other day. Mm. After Jesus has fasted, when you know who you are in the Lord, mm. no weapon function against you shall prosper. Mm. Every tongue that will rise against you in judgment hey, mm. shall be condemned. Yes. When he came to Jesus, he wanted to test Jesus to know, do you know who you are? Many a times we don't know who we are, so we fall in the hands of our enemy. Mm. Amen. You need to know who you are. Yes. You know, you know that you belong to the kingdom. And no one play with the kingdom man. No, no, no. When you touch me, you touch the apples of hey. God's eyes. Ah, I, I am untouchable. Oh, glory to God. I am a hot chapel in the hands of the enemy. Amen. If you play with me, you are playing with fire. Hey, because I am rest in the bosom Hallelujah. of Yeshua Hamashiach. So the only time God can perform mm. is when you try yes. working out, work out to be in the presence of God. Amen. The Bible says if you break the edge, mm. snake will bite you. Yes. Remain there. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The importance of becoming a Christian. Let's read Matthew chapter 14, please. I think. Matthew 5, let me write it up. The importance of becoming a Christian is very important. Amen. Matthew 5, 14. Matthew chapter 5, 14 says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Read, you are reading from where? Matthew chapter 5 verse 14. And go, to, go, go ahead. 15. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Mm. Instead, they put it on the stand and mm. put it light. Hallelujah. Yes. So, we are the light of the world. Amen. The other day, Jesus was with the disciples and his hungry. And you saw a fig tree that looks like a fig tree. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, when Jesus went there because they were hungry. Hey, put the heater on, please. You do put the heater on. Please, sorry. You have to be checking on this. Amen. <laughs> Let's give a hand over to our usher, Chief Usher. Today I'm, I'm even tasty. I don't have water to drink. Let's clap my hands. He's a good usher. She's been doing very well. Next week we'll have two bottles of water. What that is. Hallelujah. Let's give a hand over to Amen. 
So Jesus went and he saw the fig tree. And you know that that tree produced what? Fruits. And the Bible says he went there and there was no fruit on the tree. And he cursed it. And the Bible says from that day he could not bear fruit again. Mm -hmm. The tree died. Yeah. When I was meditating upon this scripture, the Lord said to me, We are the light of the world. Yes. And people are hungry. Mm. And they want to come to the light mm. to feed their spirit. Mm. Show and body. Mm. Surprisingly, they came to us. Mm. And they find no fruit in us. Mm. Amen. And they find the same thing mm. in us. Mm. Last I was discussing with uh, Pastor Mercy, just my buddy, buddy, you know where, please? <laughs> we don't even call ourselves pastors. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having some discussion, and he was saying that for believers to repent, mm. it's not easy. So if you, you win a soul into the kingdom of God, and why you don't win him or her? This thing is not good. We don't steal. We don't lie. Mm. We don't fornicate. We don't gossip. Mm. We don't hate. We love. We forgive. We have patience, long and tolerance. And then you put it to the, the fig tree. And they realize that you are doing the same thing I'm doing. Mm. All that you are saying, there is nothing there. 419. These people, they are 419. Mm. The reason why people don't believe God again is because look like Christians mm. have made them to believe that Christianity is 419. Because what they are looking for is they can't find it. No. We deceive them. They come to the house of God and they realize that the church is divided into groups. Mm. This one don't talk to this one. This one is a liar. And the Bible says our light cannot be hidden. Mm. Because the name of Christ lies upon us. We can't hide. Yes. That's what we need to wake up our own salvation. Mm -hmm. We have to wake up to become Christians. That when they come, they will see that fruit and remain. Mm -hmm. Because what they are seeking for, if they come and they can't find it, mm -hmm. and they realize that what you are telling them, you are still practicing those things. You say these people are four and nine. Mm -hmm. They are only deceiving us. Mm -hmm. That's why today, in this kingdom, they started Christianity. But the, the youth have come to understand that they are 419. What they tell us, they don't practice it. Mm. So it's like they want to enslave us yeah. to have their own way out. Mm. <coughs> Believers, the time has come mm. that we have to stand for, for the truth. Mm. There is a song, my darling. He said, lay out the flag of truth mm. and go back to the Bible and It's looking like, but practicing it. The Holy Spirit told me, if you want your female child to marry, show love to your wife. I repeat, yes. if you want your female child to get married one day, husband, love your wife. Let it be your lungs. Like I love you. I love you like brother brother. <laughs> I love you with my stomach. My breath and everything. Do you know what you do if you do that? You are telling your child that marriage is sweet. Hey! Yes. Hey! I can't wait to 
get to that place to get married. Mm. When the wife respect, say respect. respect. When the wife give full respect to the husband. Yes. My boy, he said, hey, I can't wait to go. <laughs> but when the wife wants to be <laughs> there's always fight. Mm. You say, ah, this thing. <laughs> oh my God. Already I can experience the present. Yeah. The fire and the hot in my what am I going to do? Mm. One thing we need to understand is not about what we say that our children look at. It's what, what we do. do. It's true. It's easier. So in the Christian door, when the unbeliever come and he sees us practicing the same thing they are doing, mm. you look at them and say, this is not have anything to do. So let me go. That's right here. I pick people a lot. And the youth that I pick in my car, about 90% are discussing not getting married. Hmm. Isn't that sad? Is it? Isn't that sad? sad? Very sad. Why have they come to that point? Hmm. Because in their homes, they don't see why they have to marry. See war. There's war, violence. Hmm. If we relate to Christianity, the same thing. <coughs> what are you going to do different? So that others will look out to you. Because of this, I will give my life to Christ. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Galatians 5 22. Peace. Long suffering. And if you want to be your children look at you and say, in a while, they get confused. My little daughter, anything I stand here to say, I pray about it and be careful. Mm. Because she will ask every question. <laughs> when you are not related to what you are saying. Mm. Amen. Mm. So we should be very careful. Amen. Amen. Work it out. Have to work it out. Uh, what the Lord told, don't be in a haste. No. You know, at times we are in a haste to say, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. Yes, and you expose yourself. And yet, you have no work it out. There are things I need to work out. Mm. You know, mango tree, the best food, mm. will not work to anyone to buy it. We go to the tree to work it. Yes. So what we need to do as believers is to work it out. Mm. <coughs> when you work it out and you are bearing fruit, you don't need to go out to mm. Because they will know you by the fruits you bear. Today we are in this. And when we, keep, we, we have become a stumbling block. Look like Christians have become a stumbling block so people cannot believe in me because they don't see who is Christian and who is unbeliever because we do the same thing. Mm. And one thing I pray that God help us every falling can be risen again. Let's work it out mm. so that when they come. The blood of the Bible says the blood, the blood of Jesus, Jesus is able to wipe away every sin and iniquity. Every evidence that the enemy has against you. When we work it out, the blood of Jesus will wipe them away and there will be no evidence. The only time you can be judged and lose your case if someone has evidence against you. But when the blood of Jesus goes into the incubators of the enemy, into their white houses, into their secret place, and take away those evidence. Mm. When Paul, I'm very little, when Paul saw mm. 
He was one of the murderers, killing and destroying Christians. But the Bible says, when he met Jesus, everything turned around. He tried to become a Christian, so they have no evidence against him. That's why he's able to do the work of God. We can only do the work of God effectively if we work it out to become Christ like. I came, the Lord asked me to tell you and I that we should not be like Christians. We should become a Christian. So that this confusion in this world, the story through you and I, the story will change. Shall we be on our feet and pray? One minute, I'm up. I just time.